Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about the show confirm dialog box, which is a kind of output dialog box that prompts the user to confirm an action by clicking on a button. So as you can see on the screen here, we are having a dialog box and a title up here. We also have the message showing on the dialog box and then we have three buttons. So as I said, this show confirm dialog box is used to output a message while expecting the user to click on a button as a sign of confirmation or not. So now let's talk about the syntax of this particular dialog box. So in order to create a show confirm dialog box, we need to write, first of all, J option pane that show confirm so as you can see here we are having these uh, options so we're going to choose the second one like this and then we put the semicolon so as you can see g option pane show confirm dialog box now the first parameter is the parent component so here we are not using any parent component so we're going to say null the second thing that we can pass here is going to be the message to show on our show confirm dialog box and we're going to pass, we are going to pass a string. So we will say, are you okay? Then the third parameter is going to be the title of our show confirm dialog box. So I'm simply going to say demo show confirm dialog box. And then the option type, this is going to determine the type of buttons that will show on the show confirm dialog box. So for example, I will say that I want to show a yes button, a no button, and then the cancel button. So how I'm going to do that is to write J option pane that, and as you can see here, we are having uh, various options. So as I said, I'm going to say yes. So we're going to choose, select this first option, which is the yes underscore no underscore cancel underscore option like this. And then we will save this. So now we, we're going to run this portion of code and what we're going to see is going to be a dialog box with a title, uh, with a message showing, are you okay? So I'm going to put question mark here and then the title of that dialog box is going to be demo show confirm dialog. And then here, the J option pane, yes, underscore, underscore, no, underscore, cancel, underscore option is going to determine the type of buttons we're gonna have on our dialog box. So when I run, you can see that we are having three buttons, no, uh, yes, no, and cancel. And we are having our message here and then the title here. So we can have various button options, okay? There are multiple button options that we can choose from. So the J option pane will be followed by the button option. So let me change this, I will say, uh, J option pane default. So, okay, so this is going to output the default button option. So I'm going to say default underscore option. And when I run, you can see that by default, we are going to have one button, which is the OK button. I can also say that instead of default button, I'm going to choose uh, uh, another option, which is going to be the yes underscore no underscore option and run this is going to show two buttons yes and no all right so i can also change i will simply say that i want the ok underscore cancel underscore option like this when i run i'm going to get ok button and cancel button so it all depends on what button options you actually want to output on this particular dialog box. So as I showed you, if you're using Eclipse, when you write J option pane dot, and then here you are going to have the various options and you can just choose according to uh, what you want to output on your show confirm dialog box. Okay, so I'm going to put the yes underscore no underscore cancel underscore option here. Okay, I will leave it like this. And one thing I wanted to tell you guys is also that you can put the show uh, confirm dialog inside an input statement. So that means that we can write a system that out, system that out, that print line. So, and then I will just cut this. 
and paste it inside parentheses like this. So now when I run, it's going to return this. As you can see, we are having our dialog box showing on the screen. So now when I click on a button, as you can see, it returns a value in our console. When you click on the button, yes, it returns zero. As you could see, when you click on the button, no, it returns one. And when you click on the button, console, it returns two. So that was it on how to use the show confirm dialog box. So you can use it if you need it in your program. And uh, I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and comment and subscribe to this channel. So let's meet in our next video.